guys, that phone guy here, and today I'm going to show you my uh, awesome flea market find. Now, uh, sorry I haven't posted recently. Um, I just kind of got a little bit, like, lazy. Um, but yeah, now that I have February vacation, stay tuned for those Target bin finds because I've definitely gotten a lot more finds. Um, but yeah, so like I said, um, if you read the title, this I got this from the flea market. And you probably won't believe this, but this is a Galaxy S6 with a nice Tech 21 case. Um, these were all included, and it had a Batman pop, pop, pop socket on it, but I put it on my phone. Uh, you can kind of see, like, it, yeah, that, that's just evidence. I don't have a mirror, so. And it's not cracked at all. Oh, crap. Um, and it even has this original IMAI sticker on it. It's on AT&T, but I got it unlocked. And yeah, so I got this for zero dollars for free. You heard that right, free. And I'll explain how that happened. So yesterday I went with my dad to a uh, flea market and I, I heard about it and I was like, yeah, we should go. And then we did and I was happy that I went there because there wasn't really anything that good. There was a freaking Android 5 tablet for 50 bucks and I was like, what the heck? And then I saw at like one of the back tables somebody selling like computers and stuff and there was a phone like by them it was this phone i didn't know if it was for sale or not so i asked them and they were like yeah it is but the uh seller isn't here right now so i waited like 20 minutes until the guy got back and when i asked him he was like yeah you can take it um and he said it had a samsung account lock so that's why he didn't want to you know sell it for any money he got it from a garage sale and apparently the owner couldn't unlock it from the samsung account it's not blacklisted, so I don't know what the story is behind this. Uh, but yeah, so it's white, no cracks. It has a crack right here, but that's actually on the screen protector. And it has no AMOLED cracks. You probably already saw that. Um, but yeah. And uh, I was like, yes, because I thought it would be as easy as bypassing a Google lock. But apparently that is not the case at all. So as you can see, it's still on the setup. I need, like, it's, I think it's on Android 7 or it might be on 6. Uh, here we go. One second. I can't press next. I don't know why. Oh, QR code setup. I've never seen this before. Uh, I don't know what this is, but yeah, it would say Samsung account lock. I don't know. Oh, it's checking network. Installing. I really don't know what it's doing. I actually, this never happened before. That's pretty cool. Nevertheless, um... Oh, wow, you can see me. Here, here's evidence of my... You know what, you can't see. Okay, whatever. But anyways, um, yeah, I don't know what it's doing right now, like I said, but this thing is Samsung account lock. So I, look at, I looked at some bypasses, and I tried doing the um, uh, SIM card, like, what is it called? Like, hush SMS bypass thing, and that worked on the Note 5, but... Uh, it doesn't work on this. I don't know why. It just doesn't budge. Even after I got it unlocked from AT&T, and I put my SIM card in there, and it actually worked, like, it just doesn't want to work. And it's showing my face again. What is it doing? Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, so, this is it. It works fine. I actually screwed up the charging, uh, charger port by accident, so now it, like, only works if you push it in there at a certain angle, which really sucks. Uh, so I don't think I'll be able to do another bypass that I found, which is involving, like, putting a custom ROM on it. But if you guys know any bypass, if it's on Android 6 or 7, and it has a Samsung account lock, just please tell me. Because there's nothing I can really do, and I really want to get this thing to work. Since my dad has an S6, but that's, like, his works phone. It's his old one, so I let him keep it. But its battery is bulging, and he never lets me use it, so it's kind of useless. This is also a 64 gig. It says on the back here. So that, that's really nice, and I was, like, so hyped up to get this thing to work since I got it for free. And it kind of sucks that it doesn't work. Well, I mean, it does work, but I can't get to use it. Even, not even as a, like, MP3 player or anything. But yeah, that's all for this video. Like I said, if you guys have any ideas, just comment down below. Uh, I gotta turn on my comments because a stupid YouTube thing says that I have to set my channel for, like, uh, adults if I want comments, so I guess I'm gonna have to do that. Sorry, uh, child viewers, but yeah. yeah, anyways, that's all for this video. See you guys in the next one.